Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I want to answer the question, how do I name my abstract art? Or how do you name your abstract art or abstract paintings specifically? Because that's what I do. So essentially the way I come up with names, it kind of, it mostly comes down to uh, kind of the idea behind the painting, like mostly the colors. Like this one is called Candy Coated Dreams. And the reason I called it that is because one, it reminds me of cotton candy, right? So pink, the, the dark pink, the light pink, that play on those colors uh, reminds me of cotton candy. And then I, I called it Dreams because um, it's got like this really airy look to it. And so when you look at this painting right here, you can kind of see it like fades off and it's, it's very light. Um, it, it's like it goes from dark to light. And, and it just kind of reminds me of a dream of how like when you're waking up from the dream, you know, you're kind of coming out of that into the light usually because you're waking up in the morning. So that's just kind of the process behind it and, and that. And then now I'm going to come back actually come to this because there's another way to do that. So normally... I name my abstract art based on the the colors and kind of the feel that I get from the piece afterwards. So usually I don't have a name beforehand. It's usually after and it's based on kind of how I feel about it and, and what it makes me, uh, like what it reminds me of. And so that's usually how I name my abstract art. But sometimes uh, there's a reason, there is a specific reason. So a lot of the Pollock style paintings I've been doing recently, I've been kind of giving names that were kind of Pollock-esque as kind of an homage to him. So like uh, if you look at one of my videos where I did a Pollock style painting, it was uh, it was called number 322. And that was just kind of a play on on Pollock's work because he always named it like number one and then the date or number one A or something like that. You know, he, he stopped re giving them real names. And so that was kind of a play on that. But the other Pollock style one I did was Illustrious Pride, and it's because it reminds me of, um, actually, the school that I went to, their mascot was Panther, so it was like Panther Pride. So those colors reminded me of that, so it was a memory. So really it comes down to like what it makes me think or feel about that, and, and you can kind of do the same. However, sometimes I just don't have a name, and I, I'll stare at a painting, and I'll, I'll kind of look at it for a long time, and I just don't get a name out of it. At that point, I do just kind of make up a name. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You know, there's no sophistication behind it. This, this painting right here, I'm actually going to move this bad boy. So this, uh, oh, looks like it, uh, sat up against it. There's a little bit of white, but I'll be able to, to wipe it off. Uh, this piece right here called, is called volatile, volatile courage. Uh, and essentially I just came up with that name because it looks volatile, right? But courage it just sounds kind of cool. Honestly, I came up with the name just because it was just an, an interesting name. So sometimes I don't come up with an actual name because I'll stare at a painting and I just don't get anything from it. And I just don't feel anything when I'm making it. So I'll just give it a name that is just kind of abstract. So there are there are ways that you can kind of come up with these names. There's actually abstract generator like name generators online. So you can actually just look that up on Google, abstract name generator, and it will just give you a name. So that's, you know, a fun way to just kind of come up with a name for the abstract if you don't have one. But generally I will try to make one based on the piece itself because they do matter. Um, but if I can't, then I'll just kind of make something uh, that I think sounds cool and kind of fits the piece and that's it. So that's how I name my abstract art. Um, you know, I, I've actually gotten people asking me how I come up with the name. So I figured I'd just answer that question real quick. So anyway, that's it for the video. If you like the video, please let me know. If you don't, that's fine. You can thumbs down it. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, but if you're not subscribed and you found this helpful and you want to see, you know, kind of painting tutorials, I guess if that's what you want to call them, because I tend to mess up a lot of my paintings, uh, you know, be sure to subscribe. But that's it. Hopefully you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Take care.